Good afternoon to you, David. How are you doing? We do. Can I start off by asking how you are yourself and confirming that you will be on the touchline this Sunday? You're not tempted. I know footballers are creatures of superstition. You're not tempted after two wins to just manage every match from home. No. Can I confirm that you're in your office at the moment? Yeah, my, yes, this is my office, yeah. I just thought that. I was just checking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm all good. Thank you very much. And uh, I've got to say thanks for all the support I've had and the people around me. It's been, been really, really good. And uh, But like everybody else, uh, I followed government guidelines. I probably stayed at home a little bit longer than even my, my date because I, I didn't want to be in any way be a spreader and bring it in. But uh, I've got to say, I had a brilliant team looking after the, the football team. And uh, that brilliant team uh, done a great job while I, was, I wasn't here. So I'm really pleased with that. Can we move on to the latest with Saeed Ben Rama? Um, yes. Is it the case that he's failed his medical? And is that now the end of the matter? Or are you still hopeful a deal will get done? Uh, no, that's not correct. He hasn't failed his medical and we are still hopeful that there's something can be done later today, possibly. But I just can't guarantee that at this moment in time. Is, is, is the medical still ongoing or has that now yes, happened? Yes, part of it is ongoing, yes, sir. That's correct, yeah. And you're hopeful that it would get done? He's obviously a player you'd like to add to the squad. Well, I don't want to. It's, not, it, it, it's one of these things that you don't never get talk about people's medicals. You know, that's something that has to be done because it's obviously private and it would be for MD. So I'm not, not, not going to discuss his medical law where he says that we're, we've still got hope that it, it can get done today. Is it frustrating for you that it hasn't happened just yet? Uh, look, these things happen in football. It happens all the time. But, uh, like, one of these things, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll soon find out. Uh, just one final question from me, um, and it's relating to Gary Neville's comments that there should be well, encouraging the government to have an independent arbiter for football, is that something you would agree with? Uh, I agree with a lot of the things what he said, but I've also got to say that I have my own opinions on a lot of things that's happening as well, which uh, uh, I certainly don't agree with the, the big, big picture, what you call it, yeah, yeah, I don't agree with that, because I'm someone who's really close to grassroots football, my family was brought up uh, running boys teams in Glasgow, uh, I've worked and managed and played through all the lower leagues as well. So for me as a player, it was a great thrill to play every Saturday and be paid by my football club. So those things, but I'm now managed top teams and working at top teams. So I see the other side of it. Uh, I think it can't always be the top clubs looking after the, the smaller clubs, but we have a big job to do. It's a difficult time for everybody at the moment. We have to dig deep and find a way to make sure we keep the football pyramid alive. And I've got to say, I think the government needs to do more now for, for, the, for the lower levels of football and sport because it plays such a big part in this country, what we do over here. And uh, from that point of view, I'd like to see them do a little bit more. Thank you. Thank you. Camera's off.